Bright yellow, they have big flashing lights, even a crossing arm that folds down with a sign, but apparently that's still not enough to get the attention of drivers who are passing school buses in the Sacramento City Unified District. Fox 40's Sinceri Tonsil has the result of a new study designed to help change that and change state law at the same time. Sinceri. The SCUSD teamed up with a safety technology company called Bus Patrol to see if they could track what bus operators say they see all the time. Drivers ignoring all of the existing safety measures meant to keep kids safe when they walk to or leave their ride. Dennis Frazier spent 27 years behind the wheel of a school bus and says he sees the problem every shift. People cut you off every day. When you leave out here in the morning, you expect five people to cut you off. If you get less than that, that's great. If it's a rainy day, you know that people are still driving fast and you have to be extra careful because you have to uh, compensate for them not slowing down. And it's a hassle. What you're seeing here is an example of a safety violation caused by a driver between last November and this February. It was recorded by the AI technology of Bus Patrol as part of a pilot program to track just how often these kinds of issues occur. The company's CEO says the latest trials in California and Florida run neck and neck for the number of stop arm violations equaling to about 1.3 per bus per day, 387 in all during the Sacramento test period. He also says at the root, the nature of these violations is a cultural one. If it was an accident or people were distracted, when they would get close to the bus, then you would expect there to be some, oh, I, oh, there's the bus, and then you'd see the brake lights, but you don't see that at all. So what it really points to is the fact that people are disrespecting the school bus and prioritizing where they need to go ahead of child safety. Bus Patrol is pushing Assemblymember Joan Sawyer's bill to implement stop arm enforcement systems like theirs. Managers say getting repeatedly cited and fined would condition all drivers to react the way they do when they see a CHP cruiser on the interstate. Everybody slows down.